In this video, we are creating a logo for the most sought after and greatest prospect since LeBron James, Victor Wimbenyama. So stay tuned and check it out. Peace. In case you missed it, I'm giving away some free merch when we reach 500 subscribers. We're a little bit less than halfway there right now, so be sure to subscribe and hit your notification bell so you know when I make the announcement. Let's get started on the video. The NBA draft was last week. Victor Wimbenyama went first overall to the San Antonio Spurs. This dude looks promising. He looks amazing. So I wanted to make a logo for him and see how we could do, see what we can create for him. When I was thinking about Victor, I started thinking about like what he brings to the table as far as like where his career could go, what level he could reach, and you know, if we're going to create a logo for him. I need it to be classic. I need it to be amazing. So I wanted to think of some facts about Victor and things that, you know, kind of describe him, what made him such a hot commodity as far as prospects go. So obviously he's the greatest prospect we've seen since LeBron James. James trying to harass Curry. Curry off the dribble, layup, off the glass. And that's just on paper and, I mean, in person. He genuinely could be one of the greatest players if he pans out the way we think he might. Seven foot five, bro, that's crazy as hell. And he's moving like a real fluid, small forward. He's going to fit for perfectly into the NBA. Not really position-based at all. It's more skill-based these days. So I'm looking forward to seeing what he can do. Him standing next to Tim Duncan and David Robinson. Bro, David Robinson is seven foot. Tim Duncan is seven foot. This motherfucker is towering over them. He makes them look like average human beings, bro. That's insane. <laughs> so some adjectives about Victor that I've come up with. He's an alien. He's well-spoken. He's a unicorn. He's generational. He's a one of one. You might not see nothing like this again, or you might, depending on who's creating these motherfuckers in a lab. My objective with this logo is to create a unique logo, a universal logo that can fit on multiple platforms and something that could be easily recognizable. Obviously, I want to implement a basketball and just implement more of his personality as well as his two letters. I've been thinking about this for a couple weeks. I came up with some ideas that I think that could be dope. So here's what they look like. Right here on this one, you got the V and the W and you have a rim around the goal. See, I, on some of these sketches, this rim area right here is actually a V. And, uh, I might create one like that, we'll see. But right now, I kind of like this. And I can even make this right here a one because that's I think that's going to be his jersey number. I seen him wearing the number one, so we're just going to go with that. Let me know what y'all think about these sketches, man. I had some other ones that they're horrific and I'm not going <laughs> I'm not going to show. Them. Here's another one. Kind of looks like the NBA championship trophy. This right here is directly connected to this one. My sketches don't be in order. I just be doing it. I ain't going to lie. So we're going to see what we can come up with. Hopefully it's something dope. I appreciate you guys for making it this far. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your notification bells when I drop a new video. Let's get started.
All right, guys, this is where we are at so far. Let me know what you think about it. Let me know how you feel about the progress we've made so far. As you can see, I added the rim around the V and the W. I still, I might add another piece to that right here. I was thinking about it. I think I will. I think it's just a little bit too empty. It doesn't really work because it's so far apart. If it was closer, then maybe it could work. I might move it closer. We'll see. I'm just messing around with it, so we'll see how it turns out. Leave all your opinions in the comment section. All right, let's get back started. All right, guys, let me know what you think about where we're at right now. Personally, I kind of like it. I've added the basketball to it. I think it fits-ish. Um, it could be better. I feel like the basketball is kind of lacking personality right now. Maybe. I don't know. Kind of in the middle. But as always, y'all let me know what y'all think. Y'all always have great uh, suggestions and ideas. So I don't know what y'all got to say. But I'm going to try to finish this, knock this out, and we're going to see where we end up. guys this is where we at look at this damn art boy <laughs> i'm gonna zoom in and help y'all out because that's crazy all right so this is where we at so far i don't really know how i feel about the logo but i'm going to skip to the presentation and i'm gonna go ahead and pick the colors and all that off the screen because i know that's boring y'all y'all always click off when i do that so <laughs> i'm gonna try something different today and i'm gonna go ahead and do it on my own but i appreciate you and uh here's the final presentation all right, guys, this is the official logo I designed for Victor Wimbenyama. I hope he sees it. I hope he likes it. Y'all don't. Y'all tag him in this post, man. DM it to him if you can. I don't care how you get it to him. Just get it to him. Okay, so the overall logo is a basketball going into a rim with the net, right? 
but let's break it down a little bit further. The overall net is a W and a V. I split them in half because I wanted it to represent the W and a V. After watching a couple of his interviews and getting a feel of his personality, I chose Midnight Navy Blue because it represents endurance, a fresh new start, professionalism, and strength. I felt like that was perfect just because he's a rookie now and also it kind of matched his old jersey as far as the blue did. I wanted to put red in there and I looked at the French logo, the France logo, but the colors didn't mesh well with this logo, so I didn't I didn't go with it. I went with a, a deeper red, a bloody maroon, I guess you could say, for lack of better words. Um, that's what it was when I found it. Um, I chose another V in the shape of the rim. I chose that just because I wanted the rim to, rep to be represented, and I wanted something to break up the basketball and the two letters at the bottom. So I felt like that was perfect, and it adds more depth to the logo. All right, in the first part of the, the net, there's a V. In the second part, there's a W. I put a, a one star in there because he's in the Lone Star State, and uh, I felt like that was perfect just because, you know, that's where he was drafted, and it feels in an empty space because it was empty, and I didn't want it empty, and it was going to piss me off. <laughs> Here are the two alternate logos I worked on. Um, on the left, I had the star bigger, and you see that gap between the net at the bottom? That's why I didn't want that. <laughs> I put a bigger star in there just to see how it would move, and I broke up the basketball, and I didn't like it at all. I just It just looks unfinished. It looks incomplete, so I cut it off. Didn't like it. On the right, we have a more detailed basketball. The line in the middle of the basketball with the two diagonal lines pointing left and right, it turns into a W, right? But it also... I put those there to represent the Eiffel Tower as well. I thought that was a really dope concept, right? It was doing too much and it had too much detail. And when you start doing too much on a logo and over detailing it and all that, it takes away from the, the expression of the logo and it also takes away from how great a logo can be by just getting straight to the point. So I turned that off. <laughs> so then I put the logo in between Victor and Wimbyama in his name and I because I wanted to see if the use case would work. And it did, it, it would look great on a flyer, right? So I'm looking at that, I'm like, okay, look, what about a shirt? The emblem looks amazing on a sweater. So I was like, damn, that works on the maroon. Does it work on the navy? It does. I was like, okay, we in here, right? So we back in the game. <laughs> but that is the end of this video, man. I hope y'all like this. Thank you so much. I'm sorry for the delay in this video. This is supposed to come out on Wednesday. You know, I drop every Wednesday at 3 p.m. Central Time, but he plays his first summer league game on Friday, July 7th. And I was like, what better way to roll this video out than to just to put it up on a Friday right before his game? Maybe we can get some more looks. Maybe people are showing some love. But either way, I do this for y'all, man. Shout out to y'all for subscribing. Again, we at 247. We only, we almost a little bit less than halfway to 500 when we get to 500 we are doing a free merch giveaway from our website 86visions.com i appreciate all the love i love you guys man and uh, y'all have a great weekend i'll see y'all next week peace